The Yellowstone prequel was shot right here in Cowtown. So if you watch 1883, you're going to have to look out for this place. It's a part of the show that will always be here. If you stroll along West Exchange at the Fort Worth Stockyards, you'd never know it was here. I can have dreamt this up. The dirt road has disappeared. The Hollywood actors are gone. But if you look closely, you just might recognize this rustic saloon. It's the center of where the Yellowstone prequel 1883 was filmed. We're excited to be a part of it, the restaurant, to have it in there just for some notoriety. But the fun thing for Fort Worth. Ruth Hooker owns Hooker's Grill. She says her restaurant got a Hollywood facelift for the series. When the filming ended, she wasn't quite ready to let go. I thought, oh, we have a, a true opportunity to make a go of this and make it permanent. With the help of the city, this western facade will stay here forever. It's the only building on this road that'll keep its look from the show. It's fun for the people to come. They can get a little bit of nostalgia through the building as well as the food. Fried onion burger, that's our traditional Native American fry bread. Coincidentally, some of the food she serves is featured in the series, a show where cowboy and Native American cultures collide, something that resonates deeply with her roots. My mother is Native American and also my dad um, is a, he is a, a quintessential cowboy. We're really lucky to have something like 1883, which celebrates both of those cultures. Cowtown culture that city leaders like council member Carlos Flores helped Ruth preserve. We want to make sure that people know that something significant happened here. Once a temporary show set facade, now a permanent fixture that fans of the show can admire for years to come. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana D'Alba.